Hello class, uh, we'll continue lectures and here for section 4.2 in our trig class. So uh, we're going to continue using the addition and subtraction formula, but do a, a more appropriate problem than just not using your calculator to calculate cosine of 75 degrees. This one is definitely more appropriate for this type of um, function. And so let me uh, share screen here. Let me pull it up here on our slide. And so here's what we have. We're given, we want to find sine of theta plus phi. And you're given two things. You're given the value of sine of theta in a certain quadrant, and you're given tangent of phi in a certain quadrant. And so the strategy here is first of all draw these using the unit circle right triangle approach to see what you have so let me show you what i mean on the whiteboard this one i think is uh, definitely way more challenging than the first ones we did there i got there's the whiteboard so here we have sine of theta equals 12 over 13 in quadrant two. And we have, uh, let's draw that one first. So if you do that one, you're over here in quadrant two, right? So remember, uh, sine is uh, opposite Try again. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So in this case, the hypotenuse here is 13, right? And this would be 12. So what is this here? Well, you could use Pythagorean's theorem to do that calculation. So if you did 13 squared equals 12 squared plus x squared, because you know that's the x value. So if you did that, you would realize you get 169 minus 144 equals x squared. And so you get 25 equals x squared. And so x equals plus or minus 5. So where are we? Quadrant 2. So this would be minus 5. See how that works? Okay, so now we know all three of these. Let's check out what this tan thing tells us, all right? So the tangent over here, let's pick a different color. Let's pick blue. And so over here, we're given tan of phi equals three over four, and now we're in quadrant three. So we go all the way around, right? We're in this quadrant. And remember, uh, tangent is opposite over adjacent, right? So if we generate this hypotenuse here, right? Like that, all right? Here's our angle. So this would be opposite. So that would be four. And here would be three. But because we're in quadrant four, you see this has to be a minus and this has to be a minus. Everybody see that? And so what is our hypotenuse? Well, you know that that would be r squared equals three squared plus four squared. And I think you know by now that is the five. So this value is five. So now what do we do? Well, the original problem asks you to solve this, right? Sine of theta plus V. And so what we could do is again, get out our sheet here and write the, we're using the uh, addition subtraction formula here, right? Or sum and difference formula as well. And so this would be sine of phi, or theta, cosine of phi. 
And if it's a plus, this is a plus here. It would be cosine of theta sine of phi. So with these triangles, we have all these uh, numbers. So theta is the red triangle. So sine of theta we're given already was 12 over 13. So what's cosine of theta? Let's do thetas first. So that would be this one here. So cosine would be minus five over 13. So that's adjacent over hypotenuse. So what's cosine of phi over here? Well, cosine is the x value. So that would be, whoops. I have these backwards. Glad I got that. So let me start over again. When we do, uh, remember this is opposite. That would be minus three for y and minus four. Cosine's on the bottom for x. Glad I got that. So here we'd have minus four over five, right? And then what would be sine? It would be minus three over five. So that's why it's really nice to draw this. And uh, I realized that when I looked at the tan and I saw, well, the four should be cosine. And then all of a sudden I noticed that I had them backwards. And so now we could just multiply these out, right? And so uh, multiply them out, you would get minus 48 over 65, right? And then this would be plus 15 over 65. And so in this case, you would get minus 33 over 65. So here is not a archaic use of the sum and difference formula or uh, addition and uh, subtraction formula or some of different formula, right? Uh, with regards to this calculation. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop this one and then we're gonna do the last uh, of combining sines and cosine ways together. This formula uh, is uh, quite useful in, in real world applications.